What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. What's going on? What is pimping, homie? What is pimping, homie? I got myself into a little bit of a bind, and I got to get myself out of it. And this is about the only way I know how to do it without totally going insane. So I got hay bills in there because what I had done is stupidly, I took my hay bills and I, I might have left them out in the rain for a day or two. I, I don't know if it was one day or two days, but I think it was just, I think it was one day. I'm not sure. Whatever the last video was, look at it and be like, yep, yep, two days, one day. I don't know. So now I'm trying to put this, this bad boy in there and get my hay bales out because we got a new shed. And I'm trying to do this and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm crap at it. I'm super crap at it. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy does it, does it, does it. Let's put this at like zero miles per hour. And let's see if I can do this. <laughs> For those of you watching right now, you're probably like, wow, DJ, why? Wow, DJ. Let's bump it up a mile an hour because this is really slow and I can definitely go faster than that. I don't know if these are going to jump on. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, I can't. I can't see which way it's going. First person, it is. I just need all of these because we're putting them in a new home. Oh, don't get stuck on anything. Don't get stuck on anything. Just get these last couple. Yes, twenty-four. We got them. Yeah, baby. Now all I gotta do is get it out here and unhitch. Spin it around. Oh yeah, I do like the new Massey Ferguson. It's sweet. 7700. Only about 210 horsepower, I believe. We have the lowest version you can go. 7719, yes. Check out our new shed. I got the yellow one. I thought I was like, well, I don't I don't know which one I want to get, so we're just going yellow. <laughs> so I got the yellow one. Uh, hay bales, they're going right inside. I gotta be able to get out of here. And this is why I suck. I do, I do. Alright, we need to put them off onto the ground, not through the wall. Uh oh. Doop, 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 doop. Let's try this again. <laughs> Not through the wall. Well, you know what? We're, we're already crooked enough as it is. I'm just going to have to redo this. Come on, Bills. Come on. Causing me problems over here. What I've done is I had accidentally left these bad boys out overnight. And they're about 3,600 liters each. Currently. Okay. I believe we're in. Yes, we are. I believe we're much straighter than we were. Yes, we are. Put that right there. Boom, baby. Oh, yeah. Get happy Tuesday to everybody. If it is not Tuesday where you are at right now, happy whatever day it is to you on that day that it is right now. Yeah, boy. We get to get these silage bells. Same thing. <laughs> we need to do just about the same thing, except these guys are going to go on the left side. And I think that we're going to have a bit of an issue with the side doors opening and closing. But you know what, it's okay. I don't really care. All right. Best thing to do if you're not sure, get out and look. Oh, we got plenty of room back here. We could probably back up a little bit. Bam. Back it up, back it up like a pump truck. Hey. How is that? Got any more room back here? Come on, back it up. A little bit more room. There we go. I'm cool with that. Hope you are as well. And I'm stuck. Um, I I hate this bell trailer so hard. With with every bone in in my body that I have for hate, it is all for this bell trailer right here. <laughs> all right. So we're locked and loaded. We got some stuff in here hidden away. From the prior night of the public. Now we can close everything up. 
Boom. <laughs> yeah, we can close this bad boy up too right here. I think we're just going to do hay and silage in here. But we may change that up over time. We just needed somewhere to put it all. And you know, right now, that's a good place to put it. It doesn't stand out too bad on the farm. Everything's kind of hodgepodgey. You got some new stuff, some some red stuff, some of that stuff. So that right there kind of matches that right there. And there was nowhere else I could put this. I know you're probably looking at this going, oh, it's a little crooked, it's catty corner, da 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 I know. I don't like it either. But you know what? We got to deals with it. Speaking of deals with it, we got to deal with some. We got to deal with some crops today. Let's go take a look. I know that our three soybean fields are ready to harvest. Our corn is not ready to harvest, however, and we need to check on our grass fields. We did both of our grass fields at the same time, so I imagine if one's ready. They're both going to be ready. Let's look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> no good, no good, no good. Crap. <laughs> One thing I'm thinking about doing, and you guys can tell me what you think about this. Think about joining these two fields together. Uh, after this after this season, after this harvest. Um, let's take a look in here. So, what we would do is probably the next end game day or the day after is going to be the next harvest for the grass so we'll harvest the grass and then probably uh, say I say dig it up but I'm thinking instead of digging up the grass we dig up this side right down the middle make this one field and then yeah do that and then the whole thing is grass what do you think about that I don't know I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to do or not but I tell you I kind of want to do that because I want to do some harvest I kind of want to do some harvest let's do some harvest baby yeah oh baby it's harvest time yeah <laughs> we've already got one harvester set out on there doing a little bit of work we're getting soybeans and not only getting soybeans, we are going to get a lot of money. I don't think that saying that, yeah, I'm not sure, you know, how we're going to do. Uh-uh, not today, boy, not today. Now, we're getting a lot, a whole lot of money today. Soybeans are sweet. Let's get this unfolded. We've pretty much got everything figured out now. This is our fourth harvest on most all these fields. So I think we've got a good idea of how we're going to do everything now. Two percent. Ooh, three percent. So we're getting soybeans pretty quick. These are fertilized three times. Triple fertilized. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Shout out to Mr. Mustang Man for helping us yesterday get all of this done and get it all fertilized because without him... This would have been a chore and a half. We did about, gosh, two to three videos worth of content in one video because he was there helping us out, getting everything done. So that was able to keep everything moving and grooving for us, keeping every end game day separate. There we go. Yes. Now we got a tipper around here. Yeah, here we go. All right, so they have have the time to go up and then down we're gonna see what they've got to give how many soybeans you got in there buddy i'm coming and jump in and see what you got not a whole lot i might let this dude go once more maybe how about our other dude 15 percent, and he's gone about halfway maybe a little more so maybe 30 percent coming back down 60 percent on the way up 90 percent oh yeah we should definitely definitely be able to get that guy where's our thing our tipper we need our tipper i'm gonna go ahead and unload dude homeboy right on just stay on top of everything now if you guys are 
in Lone Oak right now in your own series, what are you guys doing? What are you planting? What are you harvesting? Are you not doing any arable? Are you just doing grass work? Are you doing animals and only animals? What you doing? What are you guys up to? I want to know. I want to know what you're doing. Let me know. Let me know. You yeah, baby. All right. We got some of this to do. Normally, I would say right about now, let's do a speedy. But I'm not going to do that. I've got some other things in the works for today. So what we're going to do, instead of a speedy, we're going to jump to when this field is done right here. Don't worry. i got three more fields. It'll be okie dokie. We can do this. So let's count down from 17, 16, kidding. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Boom, baby. We got it done. Oh, yeah. Not only we got this done, we've got our buddy over here who's taking care of this little little jetty, little boop boop, right there. Getting that done, I think. Oh, so do we go ahead and plant grass in here? I think, uh, I think we go ahead and plow. Nah, let's not do that yet. We can still plant grass for a few more days, right? Hang on. <laughs> Can we plant grass for a few more days? Yes, we can. We can plant all the way up through winter one, which is awesome. Here we go. And boom, baby. Yeah. Yo, we're getting some good soybeans. Right now we've got 33,988 at its height, about two grand. So two times that, or is it, no, 2,000 times the no it's not 2000 times 33 jeez no we we'd make uh see that's per thousand liters 33 times 2000 so right 33 times 2000 33 times 2000 that's like six that's too much my math is not right we, we're going to get back to you about how, how bad my math is. We're going to figure that out. Get done doing it to it. Ayo, 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 ayo. Speaking of getting done, let's get this done right here. Boom. I'm already over here now. Ayo, what's up? <laughs> here we go. We already got these bad boys started. So the way this works, and uh, you can do this however you like. What I do is I square this field off, and to be honest with you, I may come in later on and actually make this a squared off field. Um, I've been contemplating doing that for a while. So what I'd be doing is I'd be coming through and deleting. Let's pull up the map here. Oh, can't see a dang thing in the map. That little area over there that I've cleared out beside the, uh, beside the farmhouse, that would be cleared out. And we put a couple sheds there for implements and that kind of thing. And uh, maybe some, some places for hay could be anything uh but that would be the plan of attack for that area right there oh gosh come on just go ignore me i ain't in your way oh no you're gonna stop with a tractor in front but you ran right into a daggum tree won't you you stupid idiot <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh so that's the idea and the plan for that i'm not sure when we're going to implement that but I know that would certainly make doing this field a whole heck of a lot easier. What do you guys think about that? You down with that? You think that's a good idea? You not down with that? You think it's a bad idea? I'll tell you what, I don't like the shape of... Well, really, these these fields, they're not bad. They are they make you work. They're interesting. And sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Sometimes it's a little annoying. That's okay. I am not in your way, you stupid freaking person. Now I'm in your way. Oh, yeah. Look at me being in your way right now. <laughs> now, what do you guys think about that? You think about squaring this field off right here and uh, and having us a little placeable area down at the end. It'll probably be grass or we'll, you know, cultivate it up and make it look, look pretty, something like that. We'll say we are currently using a ground response mod ground response from giants and with that mod it is very very difficult 
to drive on anything other than, well, this ground's pretty easy to drive on, but plowed fields and cultivated fields, oh my gosh, they're, they're a mess. They're a mess and a half. If you see my Thornton Farm videos, go check those out. And in those videos, you'll see me trying to use the sprayer with narrow tires on a plowed field. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so difficult. It was not even funny. I couldn't handle it. I really couldn't. So we got a little bit more to do. Got the rest of this field. And we've got that field over there. Ooh, we're getting close to being objectified. Better not do that. So... Let's, uh, let's finish this up, and after this pass, I'm going to go get our new Massey. Ooh, I feel like I'm going too fast here. There we go. I'm going to go get our new Massey, put them on the green cart. I know they're only about a 200-horsepower tractor. This has about 100 more horsepower than they do, and sometimes even with this, we have a hard time. So we're going to give them... We're going to give them a shot. We're going to go back up and back down one more time, and when we go to unload... We're sticking on a Massey, 200 horsepower. How do you think it's gonna go? Would you do that if you were playing? Would you put a 200 horsepower tractor on a grain cart this size that is full? Let me know down in the comment section. We're about to find out. Okay, we just finished up our second, second pass? I believe second pass. We got 90% in this bad boy, 91% actually. And I think I was objectified about five times. And it's it's not, honestly, it's not anything because of the trailer. So tractor's got these big old wheels on the front of it, which are great for getting around doing stuff, getting the sprayer out and about. But for what we want to do, not the best. I know I said we were only going to use case for, ooh. I know we said we were only going to use case for arable fields, but gonna grab this Massey right here we're gonna see how well it performs I don't know how well it's gonna do here we go back it up there we are let's see I'm interested hey buddy you got a new job You're big enough you should be able to do it just your horsepower is what I'm worried about Currently, we have 65,000 liters of soybeans. And at uh, $2,000, so we get, let's see, 65, bam, times 2,000. So $130,000 right there already. The great thing about soybeans, so I was looking at cows. Great thing about soybeans is they're pretty low right now. We're gonna get over $4,500, so double that. So now that's $260,000 for this much. All right, so it's pulling it no problem right now. We may actually need to stop this guy because I don't think he can make two passes. Now we're definitely going to have to stick our foot in the door and objectify him a little bit. I'm sorry, bud. It's just the way it is. You need to be unloaded, sir. <laughs> you can't just keep it all. You, you gotta be unloaded. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. You just, it had to happen. That's all you need. I just, I just need to take most of it away from you because you're going to get to the other end and complain to me. All right. So far, so good. There's not a whole lot of weight going on right now. Now, we'll say... Oh, we're getting much closer. We can actually... Oh, I've still got the cruise control set to... There we go. Speed it up. And then bring it back down. Boom, baby. It's doing all right. Right now, we don't have to go very fast. And I think that's why we're being able to do this so well. Boom. Not too shabby. And we can get a little bit closer. I like this one. I like this one better. Tell you what, our case tractors are currently uh, looking at getting replaced, but they will not be. Reason being, well, pretty simple. 
I need those big tractors, and I need them to have row crops on them. That's the only reason why. Boom, let's get this field done. Hey, it's all done. Well, hey, we're all full. How about that? We got some more. And if you take that 20, multiply it by, say, four, we can get that kind of money more, maybe five. That means in the back of this right now, is a hundred eighty to a hundred thousand dollars if we can get that that good price for it that is insane that's literally half as much as the tractor and the trailer cost together and it doesn't even want to go in oh my goodness right there maybe yeah i was about dead center too nice uh also while i am recording this video i just give you some information mr silly p just released a video saying that the 1050 Varia that we got an update on last week also has a Challenger version of it as well. And I'm not done watching the video yet. I just started watching it while I was doing some stuff. But interesting. I think uh, I think it's worth a checkout. So if you haven't checked it out already, make sure you go and we're stuck in a tree. Uh, of course we are. But none of the matter. We've got a Massey Ferguson to get us out of here. Oh, yeah. So I may do a video on it later. I may not. But I just wanted to give you an update let you know, hey, Mr. Silly Pete's putting out this information. If you want to check it out, go check it out on his channel. Cool. Back to it. Field 44 is done. Oh yeah, we got one more field to do, one more soybean field, we're all done with this. We do need to either A, get something in the ground, or B, I don't know if there's B, we just need A. <laughs> if we want to make money, we need to do canola. If we want to get straw, we need to not do canola we need to do barley or wheat out of the two i would rather do wheat because the prices for wheat are always a little bit better just a little bit better always so i'm going to go about this field a different way than i have in the past i'm going to go straight along right here hopefully we're lined up appropriately and hire a worker there we go two three Bam. Tell you what, that little Massey right there was doing a fine, a very, very fine job. And with this, we're just going to get a headland done. Pretty simple. Nothing, nothing crazy out of the ordinary for that. Just a nice little baby headland. Let's do it, man. <laughs> We got 100% on our Massey right here, and I tell you what, this thing is bucking it, man. Yeah, it is going great. This is awesome. This is going really well. I am happy, happy, happy with the way this is handling, with the way this is taking this weight, with how well I can turn with it. You boys happy. DJ Goham is a happy, happy camper let's get this unloaded sweet we got a little bit more of that filled up there to do we're gonna get it done see you in just a second 
We are not far away at all from completing soybean harvest year number two. Again, we are in early autumn right now. It's a little bit of first person cam going on here. Hey, yeah. Nice, nice. Break the head off. You can see we are pretty close to being full back there with the soybeans. You can see the beans themselves. Hello, little soybeans. What's up? What's up? We've got a lot. We're definitely going to have to be calling the Goham Co. to come. Goham Travel Co. D D Department Co. What are we going to call our uh, the people who help us get the stuff delivered? What do we call those guys? <laughs> the Goham Co. I mean, we could, but. Ooh, got them. Got a little bit of cleaning up to do here. I think we can do all this. Um, Pretty quick, pretty quick. Ooh, I left that truck on. Not good. Also, I just remembered we have silage to sell. Oh, yeah. That I'm hyped about. We're going to make a whole lot of money off silage. Uh, I can't remember how many... How many we had? We don't have 100 bales. We've got... Um, 60 some bales maybe I think we've got three pallets or three I say pallets three uh, of those auto load trailers 24 count then we have three of those plus uh, a couple extra something like that check it out should be good again with the amount of cows that we're gonna have this next year it's gonna be plenty for us let's go and turn that off and let's get in this bad boy right here how much are we gonna get Empty, 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 empty. Go do it. And right there, 600, well, 6,682. And then pulling up here. Got a little bit left, as per squad would say. Got to leave some for the deer. And speaking of leaving some for the deer, in Farm Sim 19, we will have deer running around. If you didn't know that already, that is pretty cool. Open this bad boy up here. Does it open up even if I'm... Ooh. The claw. <laughs> you guys ever watch Toy Story? Yeah. I saw it in theaters. That's how old I am. I'm so old. Why am I so old, man? Oh, man. We got all kinds of cool comments coming in from... And, and so not only cool comments, but some really good support from the Welker video from yesterday. Uh... It's currently today for me. Welker just came out about 50 minutes ago, real time for me. And uh, we're still going to play some of it. So don't think like it's gone, gone. I had to free up some space for some other stuff I wanted to do. And there's a couple maps that I'm looking at right now. But uh, I'm thinking that we might pull the Chill Out series, Thornton Farm. Instead of it being so late in the day, we might pull it up forward a little bit and have it kind of closer into the day itself all right nice what are we gonna get let's get us a nice picture there there we go we have 157,099 so let's take that 157,099 Let's just say times 4.5. Oh, no, 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 no. That's wrong. What am I doing? One, five, seven. <laughs> you guys can hear it. Zero, nine, nine. One, five, seven. Point zero, nine, nine. There we go. It's per thousand. I got to remind myself that's per thousand. Times 4,500. Because we can pretty much guarantee we'll get that price. That is a 706, almost $707,000 profit from all of that. That paid for all those fields. Goodness gracious. We start with those fields. My, my, my. Okay. We have something we need to do. We have silage we need to sell. So let's sell some silage. Corn's looking good. Very good. Uh, someone had mentioned that we should do silage from that corn. It's a possibility. It's definitely... That uh, that possibility is definitely not off the table by any means. 
So do not worry. Grass is looking good. We're getting there. I think we've got one, maybe two more growth states. I mentioned that earlier in the video, but I think we've got two more growth states on this bad boy. Not sure. And I was right about the silage. We've got three pallets plus a little bit more. And instead of not selling, what we're going to do is do sell. Pulling up, rolling up, posting up. The thing is, I wonder how it's going to do. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to handle the... Most of the time, you can always sell silage at the barn. You could sell silage at the main place as well, at uh, the BGA, but generally selling it at the barn is just easier and you get eh, about the same amount of money really. So we can look here if we can find silage, which we have found silage. And okay, so we can sell it at the barn and the BGA and at the barn, we're getting more for it. I don't remember seeing that yesterday. 760 some thousand, so that's uh let's make a guesstimate here. <laughs> Get my handy dandy calculator back out because you know I love it. Four thousand times No, it's not four thousand, just be four. Four times seven four six. It's about twenty nine hundred dollars per bale. And uh, just let me un. Will it not let me unload right here? Oh, it's not letting me. Uh... There we go. Um. However, that's not the case. It's eighteen hundred and twenty-two dollars per bale. Did we tank the price? We did not. Huh. I wonder why that's the case. Because you would think, because we've got, that's per thousand liters. Hey, I'm cool. I'm not going to complain. Man, we really need a stump grinder to get down in here. I'm not complaining. Money's money. And, uh, well, I like money. <laughs> I think we can run over this and it'll be okay. And I'm right. Yes! Doesn't make any sense though, how we can run over a crop and it kills it immediately, but we run over some grass and it's like, eh, it's alright. I can handle it. I'm really stoked for Farm Sim 19 and not having... There we go, sold again. 1820, 1822, 1820. Hey, we're making all right money. I can't remember what we started with. I'll have to go back and look at the video in, uh, in edit, but that's not bad. Like we're, we're doing pretty good making money. We got a little bit more here to sell. We'll be all done selling. Uh oh, oh no, we're good. <laughs> Let's see. Hi. <laughs> So what do you guys think about this case Magnum? There's a, uh, after watching Mr. Silly P's video, I've got an idea about something I want to do, but it's going to cost a lot of money. And I'm not sure if I want to spend that much money before we have cows, or if I want to wait till we have cows and just spend that after. Okay, so we're definitely going over 400 grand today. But how much over 400 grand are we going? I think we started a little under three, which is not bad. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I'll tell you what, these stumps. I'm, it's basically if the tree wasn't there, or if the trees were there, that's still the way that I'm going through there, which is really funny. Got them. All right. 20 more bales. How much money are we going to get? Well, I guess you could just multiply 20 times uh, 1,822, huh? Let's see. 
And... 428235 That is the money we are ending up with today. I'm cool with that kind of money. I like money like that. So... That being said, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. If you want me to cut these stumps down, drop down in the comment section and say, DJ, cut down the freaking stumps. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out in the description below. We got a couple pieces of information. One of them is the hashtag AskDJ. Uh, in any of my videos, drop hashtag AskDJ. Ask me anything. Could be gaming. Could be to do with DJ. Could be YouTube. Making videos. Um, what kind of time that I set aside every day. What my favorite tractor is. What tractors I prefer. Do I drink coffee or tea? You know, do I, would I rather harvest corn or soybeans? Anything like that. Also, we're going to show you something really cool. You can go in the water and not die. We found this out. And the water's free. Also something that we found out. So, that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Heck yeah, man. Peace!